So this was an early prototype, or a, a, actually no, I think this was the, the original design, the kind of fully completed design. It um, was fairly basic inside. In the end all I came up with was were kind of three uh, mounting points here to secure everything in place. And so the, the originally there was a, a trinket which fitted in this slot here. And it was, uh, it was quite a snug fit, it's quite good. So when you had, um, you plug the connector in, it locked in quite nicely. And then this board here sat on the top. So it's designed to sit flush on this surface here and butt up against the back and that will provide the USB connection. Um, it's also had a little bit of an overhang on the edge so the connectors would come through but um, I think that works quite well, but there, there was no kind of locking in beyond that. Um, I was intended to kind of finish this off or progress this design, but um, for the, the model that's kind of currently up and running in office is uh, this board held in with blue tack, which um, I was never quite happy with, so that's one thing I wanted to improve for this one. So that's the original one. I've got um, various different boards here. I believe this was one of the first kind of attempt here. I don't think this blue is coming out particularly well on camera. But the uh, idea was you'd have a compartment down here for this board. Uh, doesn't quite fit. The battery would then sit in like this. Again, doesn't quite fit. And this board here would sit on top. Um, kind of fits, but not very well. And so I see it's a nice kind of starting point. I can then measure this and use that as a guide. So this here was just a couple of millimeters out, which I could then make a change on that. This battery here clearly wasn't going to go there, so I shifted that further back, and that uh, led on to this next design here, which was uh, this onto the battery. So this part now fits in. It's quite a nice. Uh, Snug fit, and obviously the USB connector then plugs in the side. And so from the back, it works quite well. And it's solid, you can pull the connector out, and the board doesn't go anywhere. And there's no real fixings needed for that. The battery is then designed to sit on top, and so it fits quite nicely in between the groove here. And it stops kind of sideways movement, or just about, but obviously it can still slide around that way. So there's a little bit more work needed there. And finally, the electric imp just about fits, but again, not quite. So you can see on that view there, there's kind of a little kind of cutout channel in these posts here, which you would kind of sit in the middle of. And so if that's in place, like so, the back wall then stops it moving. So obviously with this in mind, I then know what changes need to be made for the next one. So this is the third one. Slight modification to this bottom piece here, but I think it ended up making it a little bit too big, so it's a bit too loose, that one. The battery has a much better fit, very snug, and I've got these end supports in place here, and so that kind of doesn't move around very much. And the electric imp fits this time around. It's really nice, solid fit in there. So I was really quite pleased with that. But, obviously with the battery connection in there being slightly loose, I have just printed one. I've printed one final uh, uh, piece and that does uh, kind of tighten up that a little bit to stop that moving around. The other change I did make on the way, is kind of between version, uh, version 2 and 3. So here I've changed the uh, kind of mountings. Originally it was uh, kind of the solid, or kind of individual pieces in here. But then the uh, kind of the printer I've got isn't great at kind of moving between all these individual pieces. It, it can kind of cause problems. And they, and as I found with the first one, all these thin posts, they are really kind of prone to snapping off. I mean, in the end of the final one, these bits here kind of kept going and had to glue them back. And so I've joined a lot of these pieces up and since these kind of four side pieces, they're all kind of interconnected now. There's only this one loose bit on the back. And so whilst it does use up a little bit more plastic, 
it is hopefully a lot more durable and a lot more rugged. And so with this kind of Lotus design, everything does fit together. I'm just going to use the uh, the third one, just to it fix a little bit better. So obviously the battery then looks in there, the board sits on top, and the battery cable then kind of loops around and plugs into the connector on the charging port, and you've got a nice kind of contained unit. And importantly, when the uh, battery is plugged in, the USB connector, I do have room to get in with the phone and uh, kind of get to the back of the electric imp which is needed, which I didn't have before, so I'm quite pleased with that. The overall height is slightly taller, so, so the original lid is not going to fit, so I'm going to need to increase the height of this very slightly. Just add probably 5mm or so I think should do it. And I think that would be the only modification needed to the top piece. And uh, other than that, I'm very pleased with uh, this version. So I'm going to print out the top piece. And then kind of almost uh, finished with the bottom half. All I need to do now is wait for the uh, kind of PCBs for the top section to come back and I can finish uh, the kind of version two of the stage to slide off.